Clean water is a necessity for any dental unit. Water from your municipal source contains bacteria and dissolved solids, and untreated water that sits in dental lines can exceed a million colony-forming units per milliliter of bacteria contamination, causing illness in patients. Some products that are registered with the EPA to reduce bacteria can have anything from zero to over a million CFU per milliliter bacteria contamination, with frequent and costly testing being the only way to confirm the level of contamination. High amounts of total dissolved solids result in undesirable taste, which can be salty, bitter, or metallic. It could also indicate the presence of toxic minerals. Let's take a closer look at bacteria. Biofilms are microscopic communities that consist primarily of naturally occurring water bacteria and fungi. They form in thin layers on virtually all surfaces, including dental water delivery systems, and in the thin tubes used to deliver water in dental treatment. Biofilm acts as a reservoir for bacteria. Bacteria populations can get out of hand quickly, as they double every 20 minutes. This average assumes the untreated water is left stagnant at room temperature, which is exactly what happens overnight or on weekends in delivery units. A clean water source that is attached to an infected unit becomes contaminated within five minutes of introduction to the unit. This contamination peaks at about 24 hours. Any type of water-based solution can produce biofilm. The absolute limit of bacteria contamination established by the U.S. CDC, ADA, and EPA is 500 CFU per milliliter. CFU stands for Colony Forming Units and is a measure of possible bacterial or fungal cell numbers in liquid such as water. With Stericil, you know the water in the dental lines will have less than or equal to 10 CFU per milliliter. Stericil is the first and only company to have a registered claim with the EPA that is 50 times lower than the standard set by the ADA, CDC, and EPA. Stericil water can remain in a dental unit for up to two weeks without needing to repeat the shock process. If a system has been compromised, it should be shocked. Now let's look at dissolved solids. Another source of contamination which includes anything present in water other than the pure water molecule H2O and suspended solids. Dissolved solids include any minerals, salts, metals, cations, or anions dissolved in water. They can come from numerous sources such as leaves, silt, plankton, rocks, and air that may contain calcium bicarbonate, nitrogen, iron phosphorus, sulfur, and other minerals as well as sources such as industrial waste and sewage. Total dissolved solids, or TDS, are measured in parts per million, which is the weight-to-weight -weight ratio of any ion to water, and TDS concentration is the sum of the cations, positively charged ions, and anions, negatively charged ions, in the water. The USADA advise a maximum contamination level of 500 parts per million TDS. And when a water supply exceeds 1,000 ppm, it is generally considered unfit for human consumption. Constant testing for TDS is important. As mentioned, high levels of TDS result in undesirable taste, and hard water, water with high TDS levels, causes scale buildup in pipes and valves and impedes the function of certain tools and instruments. In the dental industry, this includes dental handpieces. Both source water and treated water should be tested to make sure the filter system has a high rejection rate and to know when to change your cartridges. Stericil has an extensive line of products for dental water purification. These include the following. Citrusil and Citrusil Blue tablets continuously disinfect and maintain self-contained water lines using effervescent technology to provide safe pH balanced water. Citrusil tablets eliminate the need to empty bottles, purge and air dry lines each night. Are available in 1 litre and 2 litre sizes. Are FDA cleared and EPA registered. And provide HPC purity 50 times below the ADA and CDC guidelines. Only Citrusil tablets are available in two varieties, each having the same treatment effect. Citrusil provides clear treated water and Citrusil Blue provides a blue tint to the treated water for easy visual compliance. Each box includes a one-month supply with a shock tablet 
for once a month shock treatment. Citrusil shock tablets provide complete microbial disinfection. All tablets are also available in bulk quantities. The Sterosil straw and antimicrobial bottle continuously disinfect dental unit water lines and are the solution to transitioning from daily tablets to a yearly changeout, providing 365 days of worry-free water purification. Two versions of the straw filter are available. The distilled water straw, used in systems where the supplied water has 100 parts per million or less of total dissolved solids, and the municipal water straw, used with tap water that exceeds 100 parts per million of total dissolved solids. If you're unsure of your water quality, we recommend you have it tested for dissolved solids and bacteria. Please watch our video on using the TDS meter and contact Sterosil if you have any questions. The Sterosil straw and antimicrobial bottle Work with any size water bottle, though a bio-free bottle is recommended. Eliminate the need to empty bottles, purge and air dry lines at night. And annual replacement only takes a minute of your time. No tools are needed. The Sterosil straw and antimicrobial bottle disinfect your dental water lines while providing safe and clean water for your patients, staff and dental units. Sterosil cartridges continuously remove source water contaminants from the municipal water supply using a two-stage process of deionization and microbial disinfection. Two versions of the cartridges are available. One uses a valve head providing quick and simple cartridge replacement for vertical installation on a wall or in a cabinet, and an inline cartridge for installation in small spaces, such as a junction box. Sterosil cartridges are easy to install, provide an initial shock treatment upon installation, require no external power, produce water with zero parts per million total dissolved solids, eliminate hard water deposits, are equipped with an automatic shut-off valve for quick and simple cartridge replacement, are available in several sizes to optimise capacity and replacement times, and last three months to one year depending on size of the cartridge selected, water volume and source water quality. Sterosil cartridges provide on-demand ADA and CDC compliant purified dental water virtually free of all contaminants. The cartridges are EPA registered to produce less than or equal to 10 colony forming units per milliliter HPC purity. The amount of water that a cartridge can treat depends upon the amount of DI resin in the cartridge and the level of total dissolved solids in the source water. The average dental practice will use 240 litres of treated water per dental operatory each year. The Sterosil system is engineered to provide distilled quality autoclave water and treated dental water. The Sterosil system is a wall or cabinet mounted point of entry water purification system designed to easily connect to the municipal water supply. The system is intended to directly feed only to dedicated lines to each dental chair and not intended for distribution to sinks, toilets, etc. The Sterosil system provides water for multiple dental operatories, drinking water, dispensers and tabletop autoclaves, not Sterosil units or large scale units alike. The autoclave water is purified to zero ppm total dissolved solids with visual and audible alarms that signal the expiration and time for replacement of cartridges. This system uses six stages of treatment, including Class B ultraviolet irradiation disinfection of protozoan parasites, as well as many microorganisms. The Sterosil system uses no plastic containers for landfill disposal, uses natural, non-toxic disinfectant, has a CDC and ADA registered quantified claim exceeding the guideline by 50 times. Eliminates the need for cumbersome and costly purchase of tabletop autoclave and distilled water for dental units. Has automated monitoring requiring only a few minutes per year for simple cartridge replacement. Is available in two varieties for filling bottles, SSB or direct water supply plum to dental units, SSD. When comparing the Sterosil system to the old industry standard, you might think it's an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. But in reality, there are so many differences between Sterosil and the old industry standard that it's almost like comparing apples to oranges. The Sterosil system has a registered EPA claim that it produces a residual treatment with less than or equal to 10 CFU dental output water. 
With the old industry standard, there is no EPA registered claim or ability to produce residual treated dental water output. Stericil is designed to service independent bottle reservoir or direct water feed to each individual chair, while the old industry standard requires custom configuration of multiple products for every application. Stericil has a five-star federal government rating. The old industry standard has no federal government rating. With Stericil, an LED automatically signals the need for routine maintenance and an audio tone alerts the operator. The old industry standard has only a manually operated meter with no audio warning. The Stericil system is easy to maintain. While maintenance on the old industry standard requires additional products to be purchased and used. With Stericil, the usage capacity is from 1,000 to 10,000 liters while the old industry standard requires an additional unit for every seven dental units. The Stericil system is recommended by CRA, while the old industry standard has no rating from CRA. The Stericil system handles all water needs. The old industry standard takes several combined systems plus additives to equal one Stericil system. So, you see, four oranges don't make one apple, although they might make one lemon. There really is no comparison. Perhaps that's why Stericil is in use with some of the most demanding clientele in the world. It really boils down to this. You can think your office is state of the art, or you can know. Here's how the Stericil system works. Stages 1, 2, and 3 remove particulates such as dirt and rust as well as 90% of all total dissolved solids, TDS, including everything from organic pesticides and solvents to elements such as chlorine and lead. The two stage four cartridges further remove any remaining TDS from the water to produce distilled or deionized quality water for autoclaves. Stericil autoclave water is five parts per million as required for autoclaves. Note, when filling a statum, you may need to add one tablespoon of tap water per gallon of Stericil autoclave water. The UV lamp treats the water to eliminate protozoan parasites such as Giardia and Cryptosporidium, as well as many other microorganisms such as Pseudomonas, Streptococcus, Legionella, and Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Stage 5 adds Stericil's residual disinfectant to the water. Stericil's EPA registered residual antimicrobial disinfectant is registered to maintain dental unit water lines approximately at or below 10 colony forming units per milliliter. The Stericil system has three monitors on the unit. The first is the white filter monitor used to measure the remaining lifetime of stages 1, 2, 3, and the ultraviolet light. It will also monitor how much dental water has been used to date. This monitor must be reset when a new set of cartridges is installed. Please notify Medical Maintenance or a Stericil System Certified Technician when it is time to reset the monitor. The two blue monitors are TDS meters that measure water quality or hardness of the water at various stages of the system. The first of the two blue monitors in the middle of the system is used to measure the hardness of the water that is entering the system as well as the water in the Stage 3 cartridge. To turn on the monitor, press the silver on-off button in the top right-hand corner of the monitor panel. To switch between the source water reading and the RO water reading, move the white switch from left to right. This monitor will automatically shut off after a time of non-use. You may be asked for these readings when troubleshooting the system. The last blue monitor is used to monitor the water quality or hardness at stage 4, DI1, as well as the autoclave water quality, DI2. To switch between the DI1 reading and the DI2 water reading, move the white switch from left to right. You may be asked for these readings when troubleshooting the system. The Stericil system is designed to notify you with both visual and audible alarms when a cartridge is depleted. Please notify medical maintenance or a Stericil system certified technician should any of the LEDs on the faceplate turn red or a loud beeping is coming from the system as these indicate that specific cartridges have reached the end of their use and are ready to be replaced. If a certified technician cannot be reached, please call Stericil Technical Support at 719-622-7200 
or email us at support at Stericil.com. Following are some frequently asked questions that will help you better understand the Stericil system. Will the Stericil system treat my entire building or office? No. The Stericil system is designed to treat water for the filling of independent bottle reservoirs for dental chair side designs, or can be directly plumbed to dedicated lines serving each operatory unit. In addition, the Stericil system can provide autoclave water for tabletop size autoclaves to dispensing faucets, as well as be directed to a drinking water dispenser. What is the life of the filters in UV light? The life of the Stericil system filters in UV light is one year under normal use treating tap water with moderate hardness. If tap water has over 10 grains hardness or a high volume of deionized water is produced for autoclaves, the DI cartridges may need to be replaced more frequently than once a year. The Stericil system is equipped with automated monitoring to provide notification of this condition. Why has a strange odor suddenly come about? The DI filters have been depleted and require new replacements. How do I silence the alarm? No need to be alarmed. There are several possibilities for triggering the alarm. Simply contact Stericil Technical Assistance for help in determining your specific trigger. Unplugging the system is not recommended as it will also turn off the UV light and may compromise the quality of your dental water. In the stage 3 connection to wastewater, a huge amount of water is being wasted. Is this normal? When the system is completely charged, the brine to drain will stop flowing. Note, if you keep the drain plug on the bottom of the cartridge, the system will not work efficiently and the cartridge will need to be changed more often. Is the system working even when the power is off? It continually makes water. The power is for the alarms and UV light. The supply water is provided continuously to allow regeneration of water for the reserve tanks. What type of water will the reserve tank contain? The reserve tank will contain distilled quality autoclave water. Is this reserve tank for autoclave water only? It's reserved for both autoclave water and dental water. The dental water has a second small reserve tank. If we would connect 10 dental chairs, I guess we would also need more dental water tanks, or not? No, you only use about 100 milliliters per minute when the water is running. Net water in the larger tank is 10 liters plus 5 liters in the smaller, dedicated dental water tank. The system produces 8 liters per hour. Is the purpose of the tanks to actually produce enough water in non-working hours for usage during the day? The purpose of the tanks is for reserve storage for use no matter what time of day. The reserve tanks can be upgraded in size to accommodate up to 100 dental units per system and are available in 4-gallon, 10-gallon, and 14-gallon sizes. Where does the biofilm go? Stericil products are designed to kill HPC bacteria and dissolve biofilm structures over time, not to remove biofilm structure. If biofilm has grown to a point in which dental lines are being clogged, it is suggested that an alternate initial shock treatment, such as Sterilex, is used in order to remove the biofilm structures from the waterline walls. To shock the system, purge handpieces and all other water lines into a small container until you see the orange colorant come through. Then stop the water flow once you see the orange color. This indicates that the shock treatment is in the lines. Repeat this step for each dental water line. Allow the shock treatment to stay in the lines overnight and preferably over the weekend. When you return the next business day, empty and refill the bottle. Drop a daily maintenance tablet into the bottle and reattach it to the chair. Again, purge hand pieces and all other water lines until the water runs clear. To read water hardness with all Stericil products other than the Stericil system, use the handheld TDS meter. To measure the total dissolved solids in your water, remove the protective cap from the meter and press the on-off button. Immerse the sensor in your water sample up to the ribbed section on the meter and gently stir to dislodge any air bubbles. Wait about 10 seconds for the display to stabilize and press the hold button to read the display out of the water. Shake excess water from the sensor and replace the cap. It's that easy. To test your water from microbiological contaminants, you must send in water samples. 
You can order water sample test kits from Agenix online at agenix.net and they will be shipped directly to you. When the water testing kits arrive, inspect the contents and follow all instructions closely. Run the refrigerant packs under warm water until expanded. Wipe packs dry and place in the freezer. Please note, collection of samples must be taken on Monday to ensure delivery by Thursday. When taking samples, avoid cross-contamination by taking the following precautions. Wear clean, sterile gloves. When taking the cap off the vial, place it face up. Do not touch the insides of the vials or the outlet tip of the water line. Run the water into a sink for at least 10 seconds before taking a sample. Without stopping the water flow, fill the vial with the water sample and then seal the cap tightly. With a permanent marker, mark each vial with a sample number and a two to three word description. Place samples in the refrigerator until shipped. Do not freeze the samples. Complete the chain of custody form and make sure the sample numbers and descriptions match what is written on each vial. Place the form in the box. Now you can send the samples. Place the vials and frozen ice packs in the cooler box provided. Confirm every vial is touching an ice pack. Now, seal the box securely. Only use second day or overnight shipping to send the samples. You will receive an email with results 48 hours after testing is complete. Failure notification is communicated by phone within 24 hours of test results. You will receive certification after testing is completed and all samples are compliant. This concludes Phase 1 of Stericil's training. You will receive instructions on taking the certification test. Thank you for your time.